Chinese economy is still going uh, very strong. You know, uh, the demands from the, among the Chinese consumers is continually growth. So, and also the, uh, because it's a, it's a middle class, emerging number of the middle class, and also there's a lot of uh, demand for high quality products. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that is the reason for uh, Chinese consumers they keeping looking for the you know the uh, import high quality you know the uh, products from the United States as well from other you know region of the uh, uh, you know the European you know Japan etc etc. We noticed it is uh, some products is getting more and more popular, uh, especially from the uh, uh, overseas, some uh, such as you know the uh, dairy products. Uh, the the reason is because China is a huge country with a huge population, and uh, uh, the you know the uh, because uh, dairy you know resource continually you know uh, you know the uh, reduce cannot meet the uh, you know demands. So I think China will, uh, we got the uh, uh, best quality of the uh, dairy pro uh, factory, but the problem is the uh, is the dairy uh, the milk. So as and also uh, the the people question about the Chinese milk in the past because uh, they don't have sufficient milk resource. They just adding so many you know the added the the, the, the chemical you can maybe say chemical things adding to the milk to meet the government you know the uh, criteria. So this is really cause a lot of the you know the uh, problem for the uh, children's you know the health uh, concerns you know and also. Uh, then uh, the big scandal ex uh, exploded like a few years ago. Some uh, a big company in China, so they found out that they uh, added the uh, melamine into the uh, dairy products. So once this uh, scandal exposure to the public, so all of a sudden, and uh, all the Chinese consumers they don't have any confidence in Chinese you know the uh, local made products. So then, uh, uh, because you know the U.S. You, uh, we can provide the, you know the consistent, uh, best quality products to the consumer. So uh, all of a sudden, Chinese con consumers just looking for all the products from overseas. They desperate for you know the for the you know the, the especially the dairy products. They want to feed for them children. So uh, uh, then we uh, all of a sudden we we also got a lot of the you know the. Uh, required uh, by the traders, consumers. So I think that uh, dairy products will be very promising for uh, Chinese market, especially uh, imported uh, dairy products. So uh, uh, I, I think right now it's a lot of UHT milk we can uh, find in the Chinese uh, market because you know the due to the uh, import regulation uh, quarantine issues. So the fresh milk is still is uh, very difficult to get into China. And also the shelf life is very short. So, uh, but in the meantime, also the the cheese, uh, you know, cheese, uh, uh, butter, uh, those kind of the dairy products is getting popular among Chinese consumers. I can say the potential is huge, especially for the uh, American seafood, and you know the uh, because Chi Chinese people like seafood. Chinese people consume uh, cons uh, consumption for the seafood is very high. Uh, the average is uh, I think over forty kg per year, something like that. So and uh, the problem for China is uh, seafood resource reduce every year by over catching and also uh, the pollution. So and uh, uh, but the demand has increased a lot. And uh, so that is the only way we can meet the supply, uh, meet the demands for the, the Chinese uh, requirement. So, um, yeah, so then you know the uh, the is a U.S. This is bring a lot of opportunity for U.S. company to export the uh, you know the seafood to China. So uh, we then you know the lobster is a, is a, a used to be for Chinese consumer. They, they realize this is a high end, very expensive items. But uh, according to the as I said, ex uh, according to the economy. Continue growth as a lot of the uh, you know the people they looking for high quality products, so they f they really like the, you know the lobster from U.S. So right now in Chinese market is we can find the two uh, type of lobster one is from Australia, 
and that is, is from the U.S. But the Chinese call the U.S. lobster. They give the name called the Boston lobster, <laughs> because this is a, a, a most American lobster shipped from the Boston this port. So they named the, you know then the Chinese consumer just named the lobster. You know it's a Boston lobster. But we, but uh, we all know it's a most lobster from the mean that, that area. So and. Uh, you know the uh, because the seafood is getting more and more popular, uh, consumers they are looking for some high quality products uh, in China. So uh, uh, the American lobster, this this is getting very popular. So we just uh, uh, conducting uh, some of the promotion activity with BHG recently in Beijing. So uh, my colleague Flo Flora, she went to the uh, the events on uh, last Friday. Uh, she, I had a phone call with her, you know, the day before. So she told me it's, uh, uh, the first day during the opening uh, ceremony for the BHG seafood promotion for American seafood promotion, all the lobsters sold out in the in the you know BHG store. So which is good signals, and uh, and also, you know, that you can tell. Uh, then ask uh, she also gave me some feedback. So most uh, consumers is uh, just regular people. They they go into the uh, supermarket buy the American lobster, mm -hmm. so I think it's a uh, it's a lot of uh, opportunities for American lobster, and also we we just conducted the, you know the trade mission and and also attended the seafood show in Hong Kong recently, we uh, we also got a lot of feedback, you know from the traders consumers, so then uh, we travel with the you know the delegation to the uh, uh, Macau, so then you know the uh, we sh we doing some demonstration to uh, show the uh, chefs how to cook the American lobster. Uh, it, uh, also the, the scallop and uh, uh, also uh, carviers you know, uh, to the Chan uh, Ch uh, Chinese chefs. So they f we found out that they show a lot of interest, you know, how to pre prepare the lobster and also the concept between uh, the U.S. and the Ch uh, Chinese way to cook a lobster is still different. Mm -hmm. And so then you know the uh, uh, during the you know the uh, uh, you know the seminars, uh, the chef chef uh, got so many questions. So then and also the, everybody look, uh, ask you know, because you know during the event we also lot uh, invite some traders from local. So a lot of uh, traders from local they ask where I can find the the, the products. So I video. Looking, uh, looking for those kind of products to supply my uh, local market. So yeah, uh, for uh, for uh, I, th I think at any rate, you know we can tell us you know the uh, American lobster scallop, you know the uh, etc. You know those kind of American high quality seafood uh, has the, you know the uh, huge you know potential market in China. You know, the, in China, when you want to do the business, especially import and export, you need to have the license. I mean, the company in China, the local Chinese company, they should be have the license for import and export. But some, uh, but the most companies, they don't have the license for, for do the import and export, but they can hire the company in China, you know, which someone has, the, you know, the license for do the import and export. So then they just pay some certain amount, amount of one to maybe three percent of the fee, you know. So they they will so they, the import and export company will make arrangement for the all the you know the uh, uh, import import you know procedures. But and also uh, you export to uh, Chinese market for the you, you, the the U.S. products. Uh, according to the regulation, Chinese government will require you providing the Chinese label as well. Um, but we. Uh, just uh, like a uh, month ago, uh, Chinese government uh, also just make some the you know big you know significant uh, you know the uh, announcement uh, in Shanghai Pudong area. Uh, we'll uh, I think we're starting now, so we'll uh, assign some area for the duty free zone, which means you know the uh, in the very near future, maybe next year you ship your products to Shanghai Pudong. Uh, you know, the, you will be the you know the duty free, so uh, which is uh, more convenient, easy for uh, our U.S. company to export the you know the uh, food products to China. So once the products arrive in Pudong, so I think they just rent the you know the, the warehouse over there. So if they unless they want to 
export the product further, then put on some you know the duty free zone. So then you know that the products will be free of duty. I think uh, uh, gradually, gradually, you know, the, for the uh, Chinese go uh, government were losing, losing all the, you know, the uh, imported, the, you know, the policy. For uh, I think this brings a lot of more convenience for our traders in the U.S. side. As the demand increase for the uh, you, uh, uh, imported products among the entire China region, so. Uh, uh, I think uh, before you look at the, you know the Hong Kong and the, uh, Shanghai, Beijing, the first tier cities uh, these days, you also don't don't for, forgot about you know the second tier and third tier. So I went to Chengdu uh, recently, and uh, uh, maybe just a year years. Uh, uh, I was there, you know the uh, uh, compared to this trip is uh, uh, years ago. You know, it's a huge difference already. So and uh, uh, and also uh, uh, I I was there for some you know the trade seminars. So then I talked to the traders. You know the, their attitude. You know the ambitious is completely different compared to a year ago. So they also looking for you know the uh, uh, some uh, you know high quality products for that region because that region is also is a huge population, a lot of potentials for uh, American food products. And also and uh, before we are also. Uh, worry about the logistic issue, you know, the shipping the products from Hong Kong, Shanghai to that region. But these days, you know, the, uh, you know uh, this area, the uh, endorsed by the local government, all the, you know, the facilities uh, uh, is, you know, the improve a lot compared to before. The company before they go to the uh, China and Hong Kong to do in business, maybe they need to do some studies to learn about the culture and also uh, uh, to to study the company they go into dealing with. That is very important. So and also the business manner and also the courtesy, you know, the is the oriental is completely different compared to the America. So and uh, uh, I think just well prepare uh, uh, your trip to uh, to you know the, to Asia and uh, uh, build a relationship. That is very important. It's not a one time business. It's a potential for continually business and uh, you know the partnership. It, it is very important for the U U.S. traders.